time for class. Are you ready? We're always ready here at Lars, which is why we're making some cute and functional apple bags. They're perfect for your student or your favorite teacher. I'll show you how to make them now. To make an apple lunch sack, you will need a piece of wire, white crepe paper, water for painting in, acrylic paints, or, or watercolor will work, or gouache, or tempera, scissors, a template for the apple, paint brushes, a paper towel, and a plain lunch sack. First, we're gonna start by tracing an apple shape onto the lunch sack. You can get the template on www.thehouse.larsbuilt.com. We'll start by tracing around. You can put your paint onto a palette, a paper plate. We're gonna use the cardstock that we use to cut out the apple. And then you can outline it with your paintbrush. I don't like it to be too perfect. I like it to look painterly, so rough lines I'm all about. So we have that, and now I'm gonna come fill it in with a bigger brush. Now you have your apple. Now add on your white to add a little more dimension to our flat 2D apple. Make it 3D with some little reflection spots. Doop. Now we're gonna cut out two leaves out of crepe paper. Make sure the crepe paper is going vertically. You are gonna make a rather wide leaf and then you can put two layers together if you need to cut out two at a time which is always a good idea to cut out more then we're going to take our piece of wire and then down the center create a line, hold in place, and then around the perimeter, I'm going to glue and then put one on top of the other. Gonna add some fun patterns to make this pattern. So using our makeshift palette, we're gonna outline the leaf with a black line. This is a more abstract leaf. You can do a, a classic green leaf if you'd like. And if you want to simplify, you could use a black Sharpie, too. You need quite a bit of paint on there because it goes through the grooves of the crepe paper. And then you'll come down the center. Then you'll go at a diagonal. Now we put our lunch goodies in can fill it with a real apple, a sandwich, whatever your heart desires. But now we need to make a stem. So, we add in the leaf by poking it in. We have our apple lunch sack. Thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe to the House That Lars Built YouTube channel for more crafts and tricks and tutorials.